हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू सी हैज और सी सब ट्यूटोरियल सेशन फोर इन दिस सेशन यू कैन लर्न व्हाट इज वेरिएबल इन सी हैज एंड व्हाट इज कांस्टेंट वेरिएबल ए वेरिएबल इज अ कंटेनर फॉर स्टोरिंग डेटा टाइप ए वेरिएबल इज असाइंड विद डेटा टाइप वेरिएबल इज अ नेम ऑफ मेमोरी लोकेशन वेरिएबल इज अ प्लेस होल्डर ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन व्हिच कैन बी चेंज एट रन टाइम वेरिएबल अलाउज टू रिट्रीव and manipulate the stored information so in the previous session you already seen about the data type there are lot of data type like integer float decimal character boolean but whenever you are defining some data type it should be defined with some variable name and each and every variable should be assigned some value before they actually use and in case you are define normal variable the variable can be change multiple time and the latest value it should take during the run time to create a variable user need to specify the data type and assign it to a value which is optional so what what are the two approach you can take you can define the data type and the variable name and in the next line you can add the or assign the variable value or at the same line you can define the data type of the variable along with variable name and you can assign the value so we'll see how we can right do this two approach for defining the variable so this is our c sub tutorial project and this is the main method where let's define some variable suppose say integer a or integer i so this is the one approach i can do it and then i can print out integer i can assign some value say i equal to 20 so this is the one approach and next step you say i want to define other integer called integer j and i can assign some value here at the same line then i can use those two variable to print the value in the next line and i can use read key console dot read key so that those value right will be displayed in the console window now let's try to run it so i have taken two approach in the first approach for that the first line i have defined the variable along with data type and the second line i have assigned the value and for the second case at the same line i have defined the variable along with data type and i have assigned the value so variable value is coming as 20 and 30 for i and j so it is working fine so c has variable as case sensitive so hey suppose say i already defined the variable i now let's define other another variable which is caps i integer i and i can give value called 40 right now if you want to print the value of i and let's see whether the it is working same or not so you could see here whenever you are running the code right the lower i and the uppercase i is not the same so first it is printing the value of lowercase i which is 20 and then uppercase i is defined as 40 and then j is 30 so lowercase and uppercase is not the same right so variable are case sensitive okay so you cannot define the lowercase or uppercase for two variable you can define it but this will not act as the same variable this will be two different variable variable names can contains the letter molar case a to z or uppercase a to z or digit 0 to 9 as well as the character is underscore but you cannot use other special character in the variable name suppose say i want to define some variable called integer right um, my underscore var so that is possible but in also you can append one two like that but in case you want to give any special character it is not allowed it will throw the error right so you can define that way now you can assign the value also suppose say 100 that is also possible and you can print it out the value of the my bar 12. So whenever you are accessing the variable, you don't need to give any double quote because it's a variable. This is not the string. You could see here the value is coming as 100 for the my verb my underscore var 12 variable. The variable the name of the variable should not be started with a digit. It is not recommended to start the variable with the digit. You can start with lowercase, uppercase, letter, or underscore as well. But it should not be 
right recommended to start with the digit variable name should not match with c has keyword or reserve word like integer char boolean double float try catch for while do while do e pels like that it's so the reserve keyword in in c has so you should not define some variable name with the reserve keyword say i want to define some variable right integer for is it possible no it will throw the error but in case you are giving for one which is not reserve keyword you can do it and you can use it like for underscore one also you can use it but the reserve keyword exact reserve keyword you should not use it for declaring the variable <coughs> variable name must be unique in the scope of declaration and cannot be duplicate in case you are defining some variable say here i have defined the variable capital i or integer j in case again you want to define some variable with the same name and in case you are giving different value like 200 is it possible no it is not possible so variable name should be always unique in your program right in case you are giving it j1 it is fine right or j underscore one it is still fine but exam name you cannot give data type can be same because same data type multiple variables can be there but right whether you are changing the data type still the variable name cannot be same right duplicate variable name it not allow in a program user can declare a variable without assigning the value and assign the value later that is already shown here right you can define the variable and next line you can assign the value in case user want to declare more than one variable of the same time they need to use comma separated list suppose say you want to define multiple variables but data type is same suppose say integer right a and you can define the value suppose say, uh, say 150 then another variable b equal to say 250 and another variable c equal to 350 so that way comma and at the last you need to give semicolon now if you want to print out these three variable you can just use it and print it here you could see there is no error red cross mark is error why is three warning that sign is warning why three warning is there because you have defined three variable a b c in your code but you did not use them right you did not use them to print out or to do some operation that is the reason warning is coming so warning will not fail your test cases but error will fail your script so now if you as if you want to use them these three variable right you could see the warning message will gone one by one so this is a you could see now warning message is two because i already used a variable now if you use b and c so warning message will be resolved b and c You could see there is no issue found no error no warning now if you run your code you could able to print the value of this three variable because at the same line same type of the variable you have defined 150 250 and 350 is coming user can also assign the same value to multiple variable in one line as well so in case you are having multiple variables but your value is same what you can do you can define the variable first integer a comma b comma c comma d like this four variable i can define okay so uh, okay integer a b c d this is the four variable okay here i need to comment out my code because okay so error is there that's fine but uh, as i did not define them and i am trying to use it now you can assign the value for four variable how you can do same value a equal to b equal to c equal to d equal to any value you can give it equal to suppose say 500 now you could see error message gone warning message is one there because you have defined new variable d which you did not use in your code now you will be using it here so warning message also will gone no issue found now if you want to run your code so all the variable value should be displayed as 500 for a to a b c and d so that is the way in case you are having couple of variable of the same data type and the value is also constant you can just define the variable at the same line you can assign the value the value stored in a variable can be changed during program execution and the latest value will be considered during execution so i already defined four variable and assigned the same value but in case i want to change the variable value b equal to say 600 right and again 
b equal to 700. So what value it will take? So I initially have defined the variable value b equal to 500 and but I have changed it to 600 to 700. So in case you are running your code, the latest value it should take or means for the b variable it should take to 700 value because that is the latest value. So in case your variable you are already defining, initializing but you can still change the value during runtime and the latest value it should stay. In C has all the variable must be declared before they can be used otherwise it will show a compile time error. So in case you want to access any variable right suppose say integer j and I want to print it here okay. Now if you cut the line and if you just paste it before j before using it so it will throw the error. So here I did not define anywhere j and I, here I am want to use the variable j. But whether the CS will not able to understand what is j all about because whenever you are using any variable that should be defined before using. So here if you run your code it will throw the error. Right? It will not able to understand what is j all about. Right? Now if you just cut your code and if you just paste it before just using that will be fine. So you should be always declare the variable along with data type and the value right before using it. Now if you run your code it should be fine. Okay. Now say I have defined some variable but I did not assign any value. So here I have defined the variable i. I did not assign any value and here I am trying to access it. So what will happen? You could see error messages came here already. Now try to run your code and let us see what the error message is coming right use of unassigned local variable i. So it already defined but I did not already created the variable but I did not define any value. So I need to always define the value as well either same line or in the next line before using it. It is a good programming practice to initialize variable properly otherwise sometime program may produce unexpected result. So as of now you already seen right. In case you are defining some variable, you can change the value any number of time, right, during runtime. And what will happen, right, if you run your code, whatever value is there for this variable which is latest, that value will be taken by the variable whenever you are running your code. But say my intention is to not to change the value by myself or by others. So what I can do it? So there is one approach, you need to define the variable as a constant so that nobody can change the value of the variable including you in case you are changing it so it will throw the compilation error. So in case user do not want others or self to override existing value they can add the constant keyword in front of the variable type the keyword name is const. This will declare the variable as constant which means unsensible and read only. Constants are immutable values which are known at compile time and do not change for the life of the program. So how can you define in case you do not want to change it. So you can define first the data type suppose say double I want to define double D or maybe D1 D is already there I can define D1 equal to say I can just want to give some value like that. Okay, But you can still change it right you can change it again you can change it D1 equal to suppose say like that. It will not be throwing an error and you can use the D1 as and when required. But in case you do not want to overwrite or change the variable value for the I mean D1 variable which is double data type so you need to use that keyword before that. Now you could see error message is coming in the line number 18. right? So now let us try to run it if you just want to run it it will throw the error. The left hand side as assign must be variable property of the indexer right. So you cannot change the value in case you are defining anything as a constant. Now let us run it so it will be giving you the correct result. So in the real time whatever value will not be going to change throughout your life or throughout your execution you should define that as a constant so that including you nobody can change the value of the variable. The constant keyword is useful when user want a variable to always store the same value so that others won't mess up the code. An example that is often referred to as constant is pi 3.14. So you are having rectangle you are having 
right uh, square you are having circle right in case you want to get the area right sometime you need to use the pi but which is value is always constant so that for any kind of area calculation part in the tr trigonometry right uh, so you can use it so value will be 3.14 always constant in nature so constant can be declared the class level and inside the method multiple constants of same type can be declared at the same time suppose say we do you already know that months weeks days are constant right for which the value is all, almost fixed so i can use at the same life as well suppose say let's use right constant months equal to 12 then you can give comma then weeks equal to 52 and days equal to 365 then you need to give semi right constant integer i need to define the data type here because those are integer only now you could see error message gone warning message is there because you did not use them anywhere so i can just use it so so in the real time the value will be always fixed only so that is the reason you can declare something called constant and then you can use it as and when required now if you use try to use it anywhere so that error warning message is also gone now you could see no issue now if you run your code you could able to see the value of the days months and week in your console so months is 12 week is 52 and days is 365 so that way you can def deal with the variable in c hash along with constant variable in c hash that's all from today's session thank you